Note my body is not, I'm not moving my body either. I'm just kind of loading my heel, loading that top hand, and grabbing, loading, pushing. Okay? Boom, boom, boom. This is that first workout you're going to be doing. Okay? So, once you're done with that, you're going to put the ball away. You're going to drop the ball. And what you're going to be doing next is after that, you're going to be working on just keeping it up front. So two sides, two sides with the ball, two sides without the ball, and just grabbing without the ball. Okay? Then, once you're done with that, you're going to get the, we're going to have you guys pick up the little ball. Emphasis being more on the exit. Okay? So, you come here, boom. Don't worry about power so much when you're doing the draw. Draw being from here to here. I want you to focusing on bouncing that top hand out, bouncing, and notice my bottom arm is coming up as it bounces. Bing, bounce, 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 bounce. Again, body's not moving. Kind of staying straight up and down. We're working into the arms today. Working the arm movement. I don't want to see collapse or anything like that. I don't want you to see you move your body forward. I just want you to stay up, work, and what you should feel is your core engage as well. So again, the emphasis is making sure that you're planning with that heel up front. Boom. 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 Okay? Keeping the body tight the whole time. Then you'll drop the ball. Come back. Work it. The same way. Imagine the ball is still there. That's what I call it. don't crush the baby workout. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What we're gonna have you do is we're gonna have your legs straight out, okay? And we're gonna have you come out first, be regular, which you're probably gonna ride around your ankles. And then I want you to reach out. Okay, notice how the shaft of the blade did not change. Right? I didn't do this. And my that happens when we reach. Look what happened to the blade. It went out of the water. We come back here. So this is it. Because what happens is when we reach, we still go here. So let's not waste time. Right? So we're gonna reach. Feel that stretch on your hamstrings as well as your lower back, all the way up through your oblique, all the way up to your lats, into your hands. I mean everything is stretched out. And you're gonna come up nice and easy. This is not the workout part. This is you just coming back up. And then you're reaching out again. Nice and slow coming back from the draw. And then reaching out. Okay, again, what you're not seeing me do is this and reach. When I'm coming here, this is reach. Okay, this is my regular. Okay, I need to reach. Okay. I may not have a lot of leverage, but I'm reaching. Okay, so this is just gonna help you figure, just get that stretch. Just figuring that stretch out, so you're gonna have your legs out like so. Next workout, after that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna plant your feet here, right here, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna keep your body straight up, and you're gonna reach with your hands, with your arms, like so. Body's completely straight up, okay? Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm just right at my feet, okay? And I'm just gonna do the stroke. I'm gonna feel some resistance, not much, but I'm not gonna add, and I'm just gonna Reach out. Reach out. Notice my body's not moving. And when I'm feeling it, I'm feeling my lats being engaged. Okay? Okay? Just out. Notice I'm not moving my body forward. I'm not doing anything. I'm reaching with my arms. Sitting straight up. Just like if I was sitting in, I'm just going to reach. Okay? That's it. Okay? Not. So the idea is to keep your core tight. Then, the next workout, what you're gonna do is you're gonna press up against your heels. You're gonna press up, stretch out your legs, hands straight out. The idea here is just, again, to keep this center, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna lean back so you feel your core engaged. Pressing with your heels, okay? This is the idea of connecting with your heels when you do your stroke. Okay, I can't kick the boat. Okay? But this is ideally the feeling that you should feel to some degree. 
not as much, okay, when you initiate your stroke, okay? So you're gonna come back, hold nice and easy, try to keep it centered, see if it doesn't go left or right as you come up, okay? You're gonna do that. Then, not quite done yet with the erg. We're gonna get some resistant bands. So, purple is medium, green is heaviest, yellow is the lightest, or orange is the lightest, okay? So I'm just going to grab the medium here. What you're going to do is, you're going to wrap both hands, okay? It's going to be funky. You're going to do your best, so it's about, so you can come out just this wide. And you're going to grab, you're going to try to find that spot where it's nice and easy right here, okay? It's a little funky. Try to get it to the outside of your hand. Okay, and the idea is you wanna keep that stretch, you're gonna do the stroke regularly, but you're gonna keep that band from breaking. Okay, it's not gonna break. What is gonna break is are your arms, okay? But I want you to just think about Okay, again, that stretch. Your legs are still out. Now you're doing a regular stroke. And I just want you to feel that connection of your two of the two grips in your hands. This is again, this is you working the mind. We're tricking the mind what you're gonna feel. You're gonna feel your two hands. Equal the whole time. Equal the whole time. You're going to feel more from the elastic than you are going to actually feel, or you should. If you don't, then, well, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> we'll figure that out as we go, though, okay? Then we're going to do numerous workouts with the bands. After that, I'm going to have you do stretches and so forth and all that, okay? And I'll, much like, akin to simply coming out, over, side to side, all that good stuff. I will walk you through those stretches. As we're as we go, a lot, a lot of the strokes that we're used to be doing, a lot of the outriggers, we do this, we got this, right? To kind of simulate the concept of rotation. Once you look at how one of the Sersky kayaks, how they rotate. Spine is straight. Yeah, right? And your shoulders are rotating. Right. My upper back is rotating, not my lower back. Right? So it's my thoracic spine is doing the work where the big muscles are at. Right? If I start doing a rotation through my lumbar spine, I'm putting stress here. And I'm not allowing my hips to get engaged. I'm, not al I'm disengaging my core and I'm putting too much stress. On probably one side of my body versus being equal, right? So what I want you to be here, when you get on here, what I want you to do is I want you all I want you to do is stack your hands, rotate out, sit up, push up the heel, and once you're done, that's it. Once your leg is straight, set again. Bodies, my upper back is doing the rotation, not, not mine. I'm not doing this. Right? I'm not showing the back of my jersey. I'm not doing any of that. Because working the upper body, rotating up. Chest up. Chest up. Okay, but was I showing my back on that? Not necessarily, but not when you're on the outer here. This is the beginning. You're kind of doing this. Right? And, and that still putting a little bit of strain. So it's not as obvious and it won't feel it at first, but over time, if you're constantly doing this, if the bottom end is leaning the top end too much, even if you're doing the, the most of the movement correctly, you're going to start feeling the lower back. Hey, I'm guilty of it. Like, oh, why is my lower back hurt? Oh, it's because my bottom hand is leaning. 